It's Stargrave, the last prospector week here at On Tabletop, and we have some amazing prizes up for grabs. We'll be choosing winners from three of our communities, one from the comments on YouTube, one from the comments from OnTabletop.com, and one from the Cult of Games members, so you guys get an extra chance to win. Make sure and get your comments in, and we hope you enjoy the week. All right, folks. So, Stargrave Week, that's our game's over. Mm -hmm. uh, and our crews have come out the other side looking... Well, mine looks a bit worse for wear. Mine's not too bad. No, uh, yours isn't Dog's too bad. Dog's alive. Tom. Well. Dog's on his third dog? <laughs> right. He's <laughs> just got a, I was going to say a nest, but a herd of them. Dog um, one, dog two, dog three. Dog three's alive. Dog, oh. dog pack. Dog pack. Dog pack on board your ship. It's most of the <laughs> rooms taken over by it. Yeah. Uh, my cheddar monks have taken a bit of a shoeing, let's face it. Uh, so that last game, I managed to... Everybody survived, which made a nice change for me. Wow. Yeah, I know. Nobody's more shocked than I. Um, although Thrask did end up injured again. Um, Thrawn, having spent what seemed like hours attempting to break into that data loot, uh, finally got away to discover it was credits. It was D20's worth of credits times 15. Oh. Uh, I rolled one. Oh. It, was, it was 15 credits. Oh. He spent all that time there for 15, 15 credits. credits. What a waste of my life. I wouldn't even buy you a Fredo nowadays. I really wouldn't. <laughs> um, but, you know, he did it. He did it anyway. Uh, so, yeah, they've come off. Yeah, as is. Um, I ended up with an investigation score of seven. Um, and most of the people don't really care about me. Pa, minus one. Uh, Honra, one. Molly, one. You am I, minus two. Freelanders. Uh, one or Freehold League, rather, uh, one and Darksiders, one. So, kind of meh across the board. Yeah. People, I've been here. Some people like me, some people don't like me. Nobody really cares. Nobody's particularly offended or or uh, on board either way with the channel. Oh, well. Fame's overrated, anyway. Yeah. Um, how are you looking? I'm not too bad. Um, everyone's fine yeah. at the moment. Everyone fully recovered, uh, which isn't too bad. Uh, apart from that, I came out with nine investigation, so right. a bit better than yourself. Yeah, you stormed it in the last two, yeah. especially getting uh, getting daughter Ryla off board really, really helped. helped. Yep, yeah. absolutely. Because um, otherwise I think without her would have been seven or seven. Yeah, yeah. yeah would have been, yeah. And what about the factions? Faction standing, pa minus one, mm. they don't like me very much. Uh, Honor a one, they're meh. Yeah. Molly four, they love me. Right, the criminals love you. Oh. That says a lot about how you play this game. Besties. Yeah. Besties. Uh, UMI zero, they don't care about me. Nobody, nobody cares uh, about them. The FL two. Yep. They're like, yeah, they're Free, okay. Freeholders, oh, they're yeah. willing to feed they're you right. on occasion, I suppose. Yeah, Darksiders one, they don't really care. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But yeah, we've heard of them. So yeah. I think overall it's safe to say... The uh, Sons of Dylan have come off better than the Cheddar Monks Indeed. for this. Um, interesting little little campaign. We've only played a, like a quarter of the scenarios that mm. you have to play to get through because you always start in the bar and you always finish at number 10. We didn't always play them exactly as per the book um, because they don't want to ruin everything. Um, but they're close enough that it gives you a good idea of what the scenarios are like and they're different enough to boot. Um, overall... My crew were fairly terrible. My dice rolls didn't help, but my crew were fairly terrible. I don't think either of my dice rolls helped. <laughs> I think the terrain experts are okay. Yeah. But I didn't really, the, the, always having the plus one on, because you generally play with such dense terrain on the board anyway. Yeah. I wasn't really getting anything from that. The fact they're master climbers or expert climbers, I should have used that more. Um, so I was paying for something that was lighter armored and I wasn't using all of their abilities. I think probably if I have to recruit anybody for my crew, I may be bringing in a striker or a bruiser, one of those mm -hmm. melee close combat monsters to go alongside Revan. Absolutely. Um, because he's really ramped up in the grand scheme of things. Uh, well, I say really. You know, he's up to level 18. Um, but his fight's a bit better, his health's a bit better, and he's got a couple of bonuses when it comes to uh, to activating powers. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, Candra's solo died 
on an asteroid. <laughs> Died horribly. Died horribly on an asteroid. Left there. So I had to bring in my Fate Weaver, and Fate Weaver didn't really get to see much um, because after he shot in the back by some past security droids, he got up and ran. <laughs> he decided um, to leave, yeah. But just him, because he has, I mean, <laughs> Seize the Initiative sounds like a great ability. Yeah, and absolutely. On, and on a 12. Plus eight. You imagine you would get one of those off, but no. Um, fortune, probability curve, and saving. Saving Grace is good as well because it allows you if you get targeted by a grenade or a flamer blast, psychic boy, right. you just move them to the edge so you don't get hit instead. Um, oh, that would be amazing. It would be great. That would be great. Uh, and that's, I mean, that's relatively easy to get off as Not well. like I got off any flames. No, well, no, no. <laughs> in the last game, game it wouldn't have made a difference. But, but how, how, did your, uh, how did your crew handle themselves and how do you feel the powers went? Because you obviously coming in, you hadn't played before, but you got a really nice, here's my tactical veteran yeah. with a lot of command and control and shooting. And then here's my little Picard, not yeah. Professor Xavier, because he can't walk. Nope. Uh, Picard. But Picard, <laughs> um, who's in space with his psychic stuff. Um, yeah, uh, Dutch was good. I liked Dutch. I liked the armory and stuff. Yeah. Getting that combat armor is fantastic with the filter mask built in. Yeah. For the Ash Warrior. That oh, was yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. That was fantastic. Is you know that rapid fire? Fantastic as well. Great. Yeah. Plus four to shoot. I probably should have pumped a couple levels into him, but I really liked Picard. So by the I end noticed. Yeah. He, he was level yeah. six and they end up yeah. with a nine on his psionic fire. It's because it was such a good ability. It was yeah. just, it was an amazing ability. I mean if if we play another game. I'm definitely more worried about him now that he's, he's down to a nine to, yeah. to, to actually get that off. Yeah. Uh, didn't I think you used Psychic Shield once and then I never managed to hit him during that yeah. game yeah. on the asteroid, so yeah. that was kind of wasted. But uh, but the other two... Tried to use Wall of Force a couple of times in the last game. Yeah. Didn't work. I, Regenerate, I never used Suggestion. I think I tried to use once and you passed. I tried to use it once and I passed, yeah. So, so you know... Yeah. I, there were a couple of good powers in there. Gives you options. But, but the rules really, yeah. really mess you up. But it's interesting that... You've still got such a solid pair of characters, even mm -hmm. even if you go, these are the powers I'm probably going to spam during the game, but then you still have the option. You still have if, the option if, of, if I can't do that, I'll use this one. I mean, the first first turn, rather than double moving in with Picard, you could always pop the psychic shield on him as you move in, yeah. and then it's just there taking yeah. half damage off. So Exactly. Yeah. It is. They are really good spells, some of them. Uh, yeah, I quite liked how they worked. Yeah, mm. very much enjoyed it. You would. Is there anything you would change massively in your crew? Honestly, I don't think so. No, I think Dutch. I wish Dutch would have rolled better. Well, yeah, we, <laughs> that we, would we have can all been a big we change. can all wish that sometimes. Yeah. Dog can't change. No, no, I always have, have to get one of your space dogs out there. If I could, I would probably switch the recruit for another dog. Mm. It's because dog in melee was a beast. Well, <laughs> you know, we may was, get them back on the table again at some point in the future. The recruit was just cannon fodder. Well, that is, it's the same reason my red shirts are red shirts. You yeah, know, you, know you, you get them for free, they just push them into the line of fire and send exactly. them away. Yeah. But there you have it. That is how things have ended off. The Sons of Dylan on board the Predator are victorious in our little mini campaign. Uh, let us know what you think um, and how we got on. And uh, if you've stopped screaming at the TV about what we've done wrong, God bless you. Uh, <laughs> but we've enjoyed ourselves. And uh, who knows, maybe I'll have a first mate that will survive more than a couple of games next time. Uh, let us know what you think below, folks, and uh, we'll speak to you again soon. Bye-bye. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.